Hey y'all, welcome back to Spirit of the Outdoors. We're finna make some sausage and probably some ground meat. I ain't exactly sure what all of what. So what we're doing is due to all the gardening and putting up stuff and packing the freezers full, I had some deer meat that when I cut up my hindquarters, I divide them into the certain muscles I want and leave them in roast fashion to where I can thaw it out and then I can cut it up in steak, grilling steak, frying meat, cook it as a roast in the crock pot, whatever I want to do. It leaves me a lot of options. But when I'm cleaning those up, all the scraps I need in pieces, I cut up in what I call stew meat or grind meat. And I simply put it in a Ziploc bag and put it in the freezer. Well, I needed to do something with it because we get pushed for freezer space. And right here, I want to apologize. I know some of y'all was really wanting a bunch of canning videos and all that. Y'all already make so many videos that I'm not going to... I don't really do all of that, so I, I'm not in here to film it. And Michelle has had a lot going on and doing this, that, and the other. And filming is not one of her priorities. So we really hadn't managed to get a lot of canning stuff done. It is not because she don't want to do nothing. She's been working pretty hard. I'll have to give her credit. I fuss at her some and make her think. I don't think she does nothing, but she does. Um, but I had to get this stuff out of the freezer to make room. So what I have done is I've had it in the refrigerator for a couple of days. And I'm going to grind one of them up with pork fat and make sausage. I have some sausage seasoning that uh, a friend of mine up in Hernando give me. Uh, I met this guy, I met Tin Man 10 years ago on the internet playing a game called Kingdoms of Camelot. He was in Arkansas and we figured out we had a lot in common at the time. We traded song lyrics back and forth because in this game you was kind of chat with your teammates and you had about 20 something people. And it was a lot of fun and I met a lot of people that really consumed like two years of our life that we wasted. Um, but he works now in Hernando at a processing type place that makes a lot of these seasonings for different big companies and try this sausage seasoning so this is a famous actually pork seasoning i do not know which company brand uses it they will i will probably never know but it does tell me the spices that's in it and uh and it says to use one pound of this seasoning for 50 pounds of meat well, obviously, I don't have 50 pounds of meat, so we're going to have to do some guesstimation. So what it is, I got, like any redneck would do, I got my bass fishing scales, or, or my my case, my grunnel fishing scales out. And this one here has a hole in it. I am going to hook this in the hole of this bag, and we're going to pull it up, and we see that we have got five and a quarter pounds of meat right there. All right. And this one, uh, this bag's got a hole in it, right? Well, I thought it did, it's fixing to. <laughs> All right, let me clear it, let me clear it. All right, it's clear. Okay, we have got four and a half pounds of meat. So I'm gonna call it five pounds in each bag and we're gonna mix the season according. I'm probably gonna grind this one up with pork fat. And, and you want your pork fat like 70 30 I would say oh uh, the reason and I may do I don't know what I'm, I've got some beef fat and that is more for hamburger meat and such as that I'm not a overly huge fan of deer sausage like the link sausage but now what I'm gonna make is like just patty sausage so I'm thinking about doing some sausage with beef fat just to see how it works and uh, and see what I like. So probably what will happen is in the process of me cooking tonight, obviously if you watch my YouTube, I'm filming poke salad going on behind me. Uh, so I'm filming two or three videos at a time. <laughs> and I'm gonna grind up a little bit of this. I'm gonna grind all my meat and I'm gonna mix the fat in with it. And then I'm gonna add my seasoning into it and mix it all in together after it is ground. Uh, is that the ideal way to do it? I really can't say that I know. This is not a, hey, I'm teaching you the best sausage recipe there is. No, uh-uh, uh-uh. I'm just documenting, hey, I'm making some sausage because I had to get this out and do something with it. I may even cut a few pieces of this meat up and fry 
because I have a bag of deer meat I was going to cook with my poke salad and I don't think it got laid out in time. I was a little bit busy cutting grass and stuff today. So hang with me. We've got a meat grinder out and we're going to grind all this stuff up, process it. We've got bowls. Let me get my fat out of the refrigerator and uh, let's get this show on the road, y'all. All right, this right here is my beef fat. Now, there's no way I need all of this, I don't think. Uh, there's five pounds of it, so if you was going to do it 50 50, you would need that much. But my wife wanted to make something out of some of it, and I'll put the rest in the freezer and save it for grinding with meat this year. This is my pork fat, and it is just about enough to do what I want to do. So let's get this part out right here. This is, we know, is five pounds, and these are some bigger chunks of meat. So what I'm gonna start doing is getting it out and just start grinding it. Oh. Okay, y'all, I about got it figured out again. I, I had to kind of flip-flop everything here. Oh. I wanted my button over here on my side where I could kind of keep up with what's going on. Now I need to get to some of my pork fat. So I'm working out of them two bags. I got that. And I'm trying to keep everything out of here where you can see what's going on. And I'm going to use the knife I've been hacking in poke salad and everything else with. So what I'm doing is just cutting up some chunks at this point. Uh, I'm going to grind all of this meat right here that I've got in this one bag up. I'm going to grind my pork in with it. I'm going to add my seasoning to it and stir it all around with my hands and cook some of it and see by how I like it and determine how much more I need to add. Uh, so we sh we shooting for probably a couple of tablespoons per pound, I would say, I, something like that, I don't know. That whole bag would do 50 pounds of meat and we only got five pounds in that bag, so you do the math there. And while I'm doing that, I'm gonna cut some of these pieces out of Roscoe, you want that? Oh yeah, he wanted it, most definitely he wanted it. Y'all, looks like it's fixing to come up a cloud. I've been out there cutting grass and and uh, I went and visited with my uncle for a little while. Heard some pretty good tales. Oh, scowl bugger can he can forever more tell some good ones. Now I enjoy I enjoy when I have time to sit and talk with some of the old timers. And I call them old timers. I hope when they hear this they don't get aggravated at me, but that's just, you know, what it is. One day I'll be an old timer. Well, I'll be telling people I remember when I used to Cut up deer meat and make sausage, and now you gotta buy that process. We used to eat real meat, now you got this tofu. We don't know what they're gonna be doing by the time I'm. And y'all know how I am now. I ain't gonna sit here and do all this and not carry on a bunch. All right. This is a lot of fat that I actually cut off some loins and stuff probably has some and there is some pork meat on it y'all i'm gonna grind it right in with it i am not gonna call nothing oh so you see i got that much fat that much meat i'm gonna cut just a little bit more of it off and then i'm gonna work my way as we go so get that down where y'all can see what's going on right here Oh. Oh. And this may make a heap of racket, y'all. I don't know. And I'm them keys. I'm just dropping them in there. Some of this I make. I think the smaller pieces you cut this junk into, the better off you are. And this right here kind of pushes it. Now y'all right here, I do want to mention something. With this particular grinder, you don't want to force that down in there and just try to jam it as hard as you can. 
let it kind of feed itself if it binds up check on it because them sinewy parts of meat and deer is famous for it and this pork loin has got some sinew in it i've probably not got the ideal pork which should probably be bacon ends and pieces but i'm you know i'm working for a little of nothing here so um if you force that in there this grinder has a little plastic part down in it and it will strip it out i know this don't ask me how but the experience teaches you a lot me and my dad have done strip one out but fortunately you can buy those little pieces on amazon and put them right in there so i'm gonna get the rest of this cut up we're gonna process it and i'm gonna get all of this that i want ground ground up and see where we is with it you see some of this pork right here is sort of sinewy so i don't know what that was but that to see So some of this ain't as much fat as I would like for it to be. We'll be all right. y'all we have a pan full of ground meat it is not technically yet sausage all right i saved me a piece of meat out over here to cook in case my other meat falls through so in my mind i've got this does 50 pounds of meat i have five pounds of meat i think i need one twentieth of this bag which for an old country boy, that's gonna be really hard for me to determine because I don't have a way to weigh it out and then precisely weigh. So half of it would do 25. Divide that, it would do 12 and a half pounds. So you divide that that would do half of that would do 12 and a half pounds so we need like that much yeah we need like See, that's how a redneck, that's how a redneck does that, okay? And, and usually we come out pretty good with it too now. So I'm going, and I am strictly, strictly guesstimating
All right, we're gonna stop right there because we can always add more. It's hard to take that out, okay? All right, now they is, I don't know what all in there. So we gotta mix this up now really, really good. A lot of folks will take that and run it through some kind of a meat mixer, sausage mixer. A lot of people run it back through the grinder. I mean, there is a lot that you can do with it. So, but we're doing it old redneck way. We're gonna hand mix it no more than we got. If I was doing 50 pounds of meat, hey, we'd do something different. We'd go get the paint mixer off the drill and the power drill. No, <laughs> I wouldn't do all that. So what I'm attempting to think I'm going to do is we're going we're going to fire the skillet up over here, and we're going we're going to cook us a little smidgen of it. Y'all know how much a smidgen is. I figured you knew. I, I knew y'all knew. <laughs> I got some good folks watch me do stuff. Y'all, I like to carry on and pick and play while I'm doing this kind of stuff. So, and I'm trying to use the principle of the way I kind of wedge clay and mix it up. Now, the number one part, what I'm going to do with all this, when, where am I going to put it when I'm done? Hey, there's a piece of meat in there I didn't get ground. I'll grind it with the other. All right, let's get over here. Fire the skillet up and, and let's, uh, cause we got poke salad going. We, we, hey, we need sausage with the poke salad. Yeah, we need sausage with the poke salad. Yeah, we need some poke salad. So let's make us one of them hands squished up. We don't need no bigging cause this is a sample sample. You know what I mean? So let's. And we'll know if we need to mix it up or might more as a seasoning look like. I don't, I don't see no seasoning in there. It could use a little bit more. Don't eat that raw meat. I had a butcher. Oh, I'm gonna try another piece from somewhere else in here just to see if maybe I ain't got it mixed real good. I have one of those guys that runs one of them slaughterhouses that processes deer meat and makes sausage. Tell me this is how he does it. Same. Them dogs are really appreciate that. I'm gonna tell y'all what I'm gonna do though. Based on what I just tasted, I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna cook out one. Oh, it's already out. We're not gonna. That's, that's probably enough. Buy another spoonful of that. Man, this still a little bit go a long way now. Hey, you gotta be easy. <laughs> so let's get this mixed up with it, and we'll. We're gonna have a fine as a breakfast sausage. Go with them hand squished up biscuits that Marie Laveau makes. Oh, y'all. Hey, I, I know y'all heard about old Jerry Clowers talking about them biscuits. Oh, uh, Marie Laveau make a biscuit. Man, big old hand squished cat head biscuit make a puppy pull a freight train. I'm telling you what. We're gonna have to wash our hands again real good. Let's make us another one of them patties. We're gonna call it patty number two. We need some little Ziploc bags to put this in. Ah. Right.
Y'all, when I'm cooking, that's my number one fans right there. They love for me to cook. Now, we know that big one was before we added any more, which if we like it better than this, and they really ain't no whole lot we can do about it now. Because <laughs> you, you ain't taking none out. We'll just know, hey, we should have stopped while we was ahead. Y'all, this is my favorite skillet in here to cook in. It has seasoned the best. It cooks the best. I like it. And guess what? It is a China no-name skillet. I've got some Lodges, Bayou Classics. I got all kind of cast iron. And this China-made skillet is my favorite one. Why? I do not know, but I like it the best. Oh, yeah. I like when that sausage gets that little bit of black on there. But you see, it ain't greasing my skillet up much, so there probably ain't quite enough fat in it. Or either that fat that I used is, is not fatty enough, you know. So see, it's starting to burn that skillet. And I got it on medium, but we think we get it all because it, 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 we got to get that out of there. It's, yeah, I'm afraid it is. Make sure it's done in the middle. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's all we was worried about. We cut it on and off. Now, I know y'all thought I was fitting to just pop that right on in my mouth. I, I done learned my lesson on that. You'll learn it one day, don't worry. Cause that right there, I guarantee you, that sausage right there, right now, burn all the hair off your tongue. I promise. Okay. Man. That first one was fine. Let's try this second piece. This one got a little more, little more kick to it. Let's see. Really can't tell a lot of difference. But it's good. It don't need nothing else. Hey. Don't go and bet anybody's fine sausage out here. I don't know what kind of season that is, Tin Man, but it's good. Yeah. Well, I may not eat the poke salad. All right. We got to find something to do with this now. I got to see if I can rummage around him and locate some Ziploc bags to put it in. If not, I'm gonna have to put it in. I know what I'll do. If I can't find those Ziploc bags to package it in, we'll put it all in an ice cream bucket and stick it in the refrigerator till we can go get some bags. Because hey, I try to eat a healthy amount of ice cream just so as I got plenty of extra containers around to put stuff in. Okay, so I rummaged around in the pantry and I found that she had me plenty of bags. So, we're gonna take, and I, I've got enough I need to do at least, mm, it was five pounds, I probably got six pounds there. If I put, I don't know, pound and a half. I think they do one pound in the little tubes. I don't have to be precise with mine. So what I'm gonna do is we just gonna put a gob in there and if you don't know how much a gob is you'll you'll have to you'll have to google a gob okay this i put a gob in there now you'll have to google that to see how much that is i think most of you country folks 
we'll know. I think I'm gonna put a little bit more in this one. Not a lot. Because you'll have to thaw it out. My wife's gonna really be proud of me when she gets home and I done took up all her freezer space that she had extra with this sausage project I got going on here. But now I'm gonna tell you, as good as that sausage I just cooked and ate was, I don't think it's gonna be a problem. I, I really can't see it being a problem. Now I'm, I'm, Mm, I don't know about that other. I ain't got no more uh, pork fat here at the house. I know where they sell it, and I could go get it in the morning if I needed it. So I don't know if I want to grind all of that up. Okay. All right, we got a gob in there. Let's see. Get my knife put back in my hose. I'm gonna leave that there. That there. Now doggone, if that don't look like an inside loin or something I threw it in there. It's a muscle though off of that hind quarter, I know. Cause I'm not that careless when I'm fooling with deer meat. Ha <laughs> ha. Okay. And then we got our beef fat which is somewhat a little more along the lines of tallow oh. so we're going to cut it all up into now I went to the butcher shop today and got this so it is very, very fresh. But now, I, we eat a lot of ground meat. I'll make tacos out of it, is what I'll do. I'm, I'm probably going to just go ahead and grind up all I want of it and be done with it. What do you say? That that the more gooder idea? I think so too. I knew y'all agreed with me. That little nobody wanted to buy. It. She probably won't want there nothing. She ain't no big fan of raw meat. y'all that is a fine piece of meat it's a shame to make sausage out of it ain't it y'all that knife right there is some kind of sharp 
That is a show enough knife right there. I had it dull and I just went and rubbed it across that old rock a few times. Watch this. Just butterfly that right open. What gonna do, I'm gonna wrench this knife off first. Put it back in my in my scabbard. That's what we call it, a scabbard. Alright, I'm gonna take just a little bit of this, enough to make like and let me mix some of this a little more so that the fat and the, all of that is so so and kosher, you know. Okay, now I want to take just a little bit of this, lay it on that board, and we're going to lightly sprinkle, and I mean lightly, all right, that's probably not enough, there, that's many. that's probably going to be a little strong, I want to just see how this works as sausage, oh, uh, and then I know about how much I put a while ago and I'll put about that much again. Okay. Spider skill it up. Let's cook this little patty right here and see what So what got. I had done is I had some bacon grease over there. I went ahead and put it in this and greased this because that other meat didn't have enough fat in it to leave this like really, really greased. So we're gonna see what this does now. I got my, make my patty right here. I'm gonna let that get hot first before I drop it in there. this off. I was afraid I had too much seasoning on it. I don't think I did, but not as good as the pork belt. But it held together. I mean, you see how it's it's not like coming apart. I'm trying to decide if I want to just leave it as ground meat like this. I think I am. I think this, I am going to just leave alone. Okay, let me set, show you what I got. Right here, I've just got it in a bowl. No seasoning whatsoever. I think I'm going to bag this up as just ground meat. 
and we'll use this making tacos, hamburgers, all such as that. I have a lot of ground beef because this is an experiment. I think I prefer the sausage out of the, the pork fat. So, you know, I, this was an experiment to see what I wanted to do. The only way that I would really know how good this was if I pour all that seasoning in there and mix this all up and then cook a batch. And I really don't need it. I've got four bags over here of sausage. And deer season is not far away. So I think I'm gonna leave this alone. We're gonna do it like this. So here's some ground meat. Oh. Uh, four bags of sausage. Now, first thing I need to do with mine is I need to get me a Sharpie out. Deer. Sausage. Deer. Sausage. These Sharpies never seem to write on these bags real good. I think I'll figure out what it is. I wrote sausage on there, so look. All right, y'all, we got deer sausage made. We've got basically ground deer meat, like hamburger meat, so it's ground deer burger. Four packs of sausage. Y'all, this is just the way I done it. Deer season's not that far away. We'll be making some more. I'll go get some bacon ends and pieces and we'll make some more sausage, but I'm gonna put this one in the refrigerator for my breakfast tomorrow. Three packs in the freezer, and I'm gonna bag the rest of this up and just put deer burger on it. So I have some more bags. I'll get started doing that. Thank y'all for watching Spirit of the Outdoors. Remember, the best way to do things is the way you like to do it. We'll see y'all. Y'all have a good one.